Cody. Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Resto Ma Daisy. Guess what, kids? Yes, it's yet another Daisy Defender. This is a model 142, which is the last of the Defender series produced by Daisy. The only gun we haven't seen so far is a Defender 141, and the customer who's having me work on these guns informs me that one is on its way. So when we get the 141 in, we'll have all the complete collection, and maybe we'll get a secret decoder ring. Wow. Hey, speaking of secrets, here's something on the 142 that sets it apart from the rest of the Daisy Defender line. Well, no, I take that back. It's a variation of a theme from an earlier Defender. As you can see, here's the neat, neato, cleano, super kino uh, Defender decal, but here's the secret. Let's see if I get this out. Take a look at that. It says, it's, a, it's a butt plate. It says it's a Daisy, but you know what else it is? What? It's a secret compartment. What? for storing all your Daisy Defender uh, hoopla that you may need to take around with you as you defend things with the Defender. Kind of keen. It's a snap-click type lock, plastic stock. Of course, it's got the plastic stock woes and worries. But it's there, and that makes it kind of damn neat. As you'll notice, it's got those uh, acetone cellulose stocks on it, so that's a little waffly here and there, but, you know, in terms of a stock of this vintage, it's in excellent, excellent condition. Uh, another thing you want to look for on a Defender is the presence of a sling, along with the Mighty Daisy sling mounts that make sure you can never have them fall off T T E. It's a wide body, and uh, as a wide body goes, they're... They perform really well. This gun came in, it was running right at 300 feet a second with its original factory seals. Kind of astounding. Let's take a look at the roll stamp so that uh, you, the viewership, can see what you're supposed to see. As it says, 142 Defender Repeater. And we'll roll it up a little bit. And it is, in fact, a Plymouth, Michigan gun. But it's a late enough Plymouth gun to actually have a registered number. So you could decipher when the gun was actually built if you had access to the secret decoder ring or the internet, one of the two. All right, let's roll on down the muzzle and you'll see that it has the slenderized forearm. This one does not have the droop effect that the uh, Model 98 we just finished working on did have. It's still attached, although it's shifted just a touch, I think, over time. And we'll go down and take a look at the muzzle. One thing I do like about the Defender is the barrel band. Now, you'll notice this is a tack weld, not a, a, a peened band, which, of course, because it's Plymouth, Michigan gun, we know it's 1958 or so. So, uh, tack weld, not a peen, with a very tall front sight. And I find this kind of odd, a secondary sling point. So if you wanted to put a longer sling on it, I suppose oh. you could have, but nobody ever really did. Okay. Flip peep rear sight. Mm -hmm good nick x condition and then you'll note a very 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 tiny peep i mean it's itty bitty uh, my old eyes really don't get much effect out of that so i just shoot it with a buckhorn when i do shoot one of these let's flip her over and take a look at the back side here we have the daisy credo i like the way they did this uh, i really think daisy should have continued doing this raised work uh, when they transitioned back to woodstocks from some from the plastics on some of these guns they should have made medallions that's something they just should have done and as you can see the uh, receiver paint is in good shape it's got some wear and tear but it's pretty honest not a lot of surface rust probably a 95 percent 95 point gun 95 percent gun and uh it's finished up she's running hot ready to go back to the client so you can hang this one on the wall with the other two and then eventually we'll see a 141 and our tour through Daisy Defenderland will be complete. Well, that's all I've got for you today, kids. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy signing off.